already flowing so much better than the landscaping that was there prior. Here we are on our friends project. We're helping our friends over the 4th of July weekend. I couldn't be doing anything other than this that I'd like to be doing more, other than maybe being with the family and driving some vehicles around. But building water features feels like what I'm meant to do. I don't even feel like I'm working when I'm doing it. I love it. We're about to build our medium pondless waterfall with color changing lights. We're gonna get it to be about 20 feet long, but what I'm so excited about is we're helping one of our friends. What's so fun to me is that when our friends start seeing the value in what it is we do for a living and investing in it and saying, I definitely want you to bring that into my backyard. In this case, Ryan and I have been friends for a long time and uh, he's lived in a condo the whole time I've, I've known him. And now they moved into a home in Egan with this beautiful backyard. He's been just busy ripping it. He's right there pulling leaves and getting me ready to get into the backyard here. I'm not just excited that I get to do it for a friend. I'm excited that I get to do it in this location with this canvas. So if you have a hillside that's just blank, you can't get grass to grow, nothing seems to take, consider doing a pondless waterfall like we're about to do here. It is Thursday night right before the 4th of July and we're gonna spend our 4th of July helping out a friend and working on a pondless waterfall. How cool is that? Well, tomorrow morning we're gonna walk you through the whole design. Tonight we're gonna use what we have left of daylight because we don't have much. We are gonna use what we have left of daylight here to do what we can to get some forward progress made with the machinery. So that's what we're doing. Talk to you throughout the day. Well, talk to you tomorrow, maybe tonight. I don't know, talk to you. And a good morning to you. How do you do? Start a day two? I don't know. All I know is I woke up feeling very grateful, feeling like how is it that I get to do this for a living? Uh, it's a holiday weekend. It's Friday before the 4th of July. And I've got my friends coming to me pick out some stones for their waterfall. How cool is that? I'm gonna be spending my weekend of the 4th of July here helping friends enjoy the aquascape lifestyle by putting a pondless waterfall in at their house. Couldn't feel luckier. What do you think, guys? <laughs> Are you having fun? Are you having fun? He doesn't answer. Ryan, are you having fun? No, I'm talking to you. Are you having fun? I'm having a great time. Okay. Are you having a good time? Of course. Now, are you having a good time? All right. So man, we just kind of hit the ground and got focused after lunch and the guys have got us a Awesome hole that's been excavated and now we're ready to line it So we always put that fabric down before we put our liner on and then we put another piece of fabric Underneath our aqua blocks and our pump housing vault That's just to make sure these corners don't settle over time and cause any holes these guys are awesome, they're taking their time, they care about what they're doing. Even though we're at a friend's house, they're still treating it like it was any other project. Brad's motto, our company motto, shines true again. The most important project you could work on, Aiden, is which one? The one you're working on right now. Boom! Thank you. Having fun, sir? Having the best time. <laughs> I can't wait to be in your shoes. Oh, man. Are we on camera right now? Yeah, it's recording. Oh man, we're having a great day. Day one of everybody here. It's been a blast. We got Brad and Aiden throwing down right now, getting everything set. And uh, man, it's just been an experience, an exciting experience. I think it looks better with the dirt and everything's already flowing so much better than the landscaping that was there prior. That's a great compliment. Just, yeah. Because the bomb's blown up right and now. And it doesn't even look like that. If anything, it's just like starting to look more natural and part of the lay of the land. It just like already looks better. We got 
got a lot of good stuff happening. We're going to be bringing our water down through the left, maybe a little to the right there too. We'll see. Yeah, that look. The main goal is to have the water swoop down into the left here. So we're going to create that turning action by having the next waterfall falling kind of at this profile. So we uh, have our dirt set where we want. Got a couple of sweet frame rocks ready to roll. You mind grabbing that one and, and bringing that a little closer to the excavator, please? And then we'll pop them in. Bam, bam. for the end of day one here man we got a lot done uh, man I love our team everyone's firing on all cylinders this is kind of a special project to me because Ryan is also a cancer survivor like Erica so whenever there's that little extra thing we are tied together by being friends but we also uh, have something a little deeper behind it being that he is a cancer survivor we want to make sure that this is his healing grounds that he can come here rejuvenate heal up and uh, not even have to worry about the C word because uh, that's the thing that is getting a lot of people and it sucks. So I'm happy to be here to help a friend. We're squeezing it in in our weekends here. I'm very tired. I'm going to head home, get some sleep, but man, what an awesome day. And like I said, you can't do anything better than helping out a friend and uh, having a friend believe in what we do for a living because once this comes to life and you can feel it, it's going to just going to permeate positivity all over the place. I love it. So, all right, that's it for the day. We'll be back tomorrow. I love my job. Thanks for joining us. And a good morning to you. It's the start of day two. It's a little before nine here on our project on the 4th of July where we're helping out some friends install our pondless waterfall system as well as redesign their whole backyard basically. It's what we do. Uh, we can't come in and not just put in a waterfall and not kind of put our touch on the whole area because we want to make sure this waterfall tells a story. things many people don't truly understand about us building water features and waterfalls is the art behind it the patience and the uh, really dedication to making the rock look exactly how you want it to look so we got that rock placed and it was what we wanted it to look like for our waterfall what we're going after but it was too high up so Brad doesn't hesitate folds the liner back comes up with a solid plan and digs out but that's some rough digging We've driving back and forth over that, building our way up, getting gravel pits out of here. And what now he's doing is looking for anything that's gonna cause us any problems with the liner. So any of those major big rocks he's pulling out for us. Really appreciate him doing that. While that's happening, we got a boulder strap. Oh, thank you, Brad. <laughs> I, I appreciate it, sir. We've got a boulder strap ready to go. That's gonna be our waterfall rock. And we got Aiden bringing an, uh, another frame rock. So we're always trying to keep things rolling at the job site, looking ahead, looking at what the next thing is going to be, and just trying to be as efficient as we can be with things. It's a little before six on Saturday. A couple more buckets and we're gonna be ready to plug it in and give it a shot. Things are going great. I'm really excited to see how this works. We have a lot of work ahead of us yet to blend this hillside and keep tapering everything down, but that's what we're doing. We're just kind of letting the water flow this way. Man, I'm excited about this waterfall. We've got a lot of height change between here and there, probably about five feet to four and a half feet of height change from our crust of our waterfall falling its way, twisting down and in. It's gonna look really natural. I'm excited for that. We got our five underwater lights. They are color changing this time. So I'm excited for that. We have them strategically placed so that we can light up each fall. 
and then we have a couple of brighter ones on the, the real big falls. So those are pointing at different spots on the canopy of the trees so that we can get ourselves a little bit of a light show. And we'll probably be showing you that at some point here. But that's what we're up to for now. What do you think, Ryan? You ready to plug it in? Yep. You and Allie? Going to do it together? I don't got my cool outfit and hat on, but dang. <laughs> Why not? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm cooking, <laughs> cooking dinner for the boys. All right, go ahead. So you just head on over there and the plug it in. This doesn't light up right away. You'll just click this button. So we plug it in and then press that button. And then ramp it up to ten. Okay. Yes. <laughs> you plug it in. You hold the yellow thing. She'll hold the power cord, and right. bam, you're bringing life together. Oh, oh shoot. Sorry, sorry kid. <laughs> oh dang. Oh my gosh. Pond King Water Garden's phone's been stolen day two. He's up there crushing it, madman. And we somehow convinced this gal to jump aboard. We're moving some rocks. She's making a nice little dump right now. It's her first dump ever, so she's extremely cautious, taking her time. Sun's coming down, trying to have a little fun. All right, the underwater lights on, they're color changing. We've got the red, white, and blue going for 4th of July here. Homeowners gotten a chance to get a chance to use our machinery and try it out. Not just because they're a friend, but because when's the next time any homeowner is going to get a chance to drive it? Remember project number eight? We let our homeowner dive in for a little bit on that one too. When it's wide open area, when it's their stuff and they're willing to take the risk, we're okay doing that every now and then. But we have to make sure we give you a little education. So it was pretty fun. We gave them an education, they got to it, and they did it just perfectly. Uh, there's a lot to do, but we are making forward progress non-stop here, and I'm just loving it. Hey, 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 good morning, everyone. It's the start of day three on our waterfall build for our friends over the 4th of July weekend. We've got a lot ahead of us today, but man, what a fun evening it was last night. We got to hang out by one of our waterfalls and just enjoy, so it was awesome. Uh, had a bonfire in their little mobile bonfire pit and uh, was up a little bit too late enjoying this awesome waterfall. And I gotta say, every time I put in the color changing lights and I get a chance to sit and enjoy them, I am in love with the color changing lights. If those are something you're thinking about getting, check them out. The cool thing is, if you have one of our water features and now you're just seeing the color changing lights and going, wow, that does look pretty fun. We can change your lights over to color changing lights. That's not a hard thing to do. So if that's something you'd like a quote on, give us a call, 952. 454-3101. I'm really excited. We got a lot to do ahead of us before I get to say check this out again. Project complete, but we're gonna keep pushing. All right, everyone, I'm Nick the Pond King, and this is our channel, Pond King Water Gardens, where we're just trying to show you that water features are fun everywhere. This time it's right here in Egan, Minnesota. Time to get to work. They got a couple of Arbor Vitae's while they were at Gertens. <laughs> and right now everyone's prepping for mulch, so we're just raking and prepping the soil so that when I come back, well, when we're ready, we can start laying the mulch down, so hiding the water feature. <laughs> Not afraid of hard work, huh? <laughs> mulch going on it's almost eight o'clock everyone's pushing hard it's Sunday we uh, we're expecting rain tomorrow so everyone's just getting ready for that but man it is looking fantastic I got my fan club here Erica kids are in the house watching TV 
Justin is a warrior pushing through feeling ill and things are getting done fantastic all right so I'm soaking wet but man we are achieving our goal uh, it feels really good uh, that sweat we uh, pumped hard at the end there and it's almost sundown we're just doing our cleanup right now getting everything ready for rain uh, but man we are like pretty much done so uh, we'll probably do a rinse down here tonight and we'll get some final footage for you either tomorrow or a day after that but we'll get some b-roll for you and it looks fantastic so thanks for watching keep watching because for you it's only a couple more seconds and that final reveal will be there and you know how shy he does it that music montage is well worth the time you waited to watch thanks everybody we're almost there i love it talk in a bit all right what's up everyone we finished the project yesterday and i could not be happier with how it turned out it was about nine o'clock when we were finally just saying we, we're done uh, it got to the point where we were so exhausted, so tired, we didn't get our final footage, and that's how it goes. And then we still had a couple of things to button up today, and one of the things I just love about Justin and our partnership is he didn't want to leave, leave any loose ends. Even though it was for a friend who's very capable of doing things on his own and doing that and taking care of stuff, the wizard comes in and he acts like the wizard again. Uh, even yesterday, I was like, oh man, I'll load up all the mats tomorrow. He's like, do it while you got hands. And uh, I'm so grateful he said that because we got all our mats into the trailer. Then today, everything was lowly, low physical. We still had to work today, but it wasn't that hard or strenuous. Thank you, Justin. Now, one of the things I really love is check out their green thumb and their planting. These guys have great design eye. And now, I don't know if you can see all the way through right now, but I can because I can see it. I don't know if it's showing up on the camera, but check this out. This is the welcoming to their home. Right through that glass door, you see the backyard you see the waterfall and as you approach it that's your view and that's only going to get better and better with time because we're going to plant it they're going to plant it with greenery that greenery is going to break up all those big rocks and man is it going to look awesome you guys ready you ready for me to say it because i'm ready to say it fourth of july project for friends complete check this out <laughs>
just really want to say that it's the 4th of July right now where we celebrate our freedoms and I could not be happier with what I would got to do with my weekend where I got to choose to do this where I got to choose the food I got to eat where I got to choose the people I was around so thank you thank you to all the veterans thank you to all the police officers all the medical staff all the ambulances all the firefighters all the volunteers that are doing what they can to make people's lives better I was able to do this to help out some friends and uh, this is what I'm skilled at and I really hope that I can continue to give back because I love it and I can't wait till I have my own one more time. <laughs> Alright everyone, I'm Nick the Pond King. This is our channel Pond King Water Gardens where we're showing you that water features are fun everywhere. This time it's right here in Egan, Minnesota. Did that look like we had a fun weekend? I had a fun weekend. Can't wait to do it again. I love my job. We'll talk to you next week. by Pond King Water Gardens. Living works of art, one yard at a time.